Happy Sunday. Welcome back to a brand new IRA Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. We are just one week away or even about five days away from team of the season on FIFA 21. I am so excited. It's going to be dope. You can actually vote for your community tots on, uh, on EA's website. Um, I'm not entirely sure who I would go with here. I'm going to actually make my own little vote and then come back. All right, this is my vote. Now, I haven't voted specifically for people that I think just deserve to be in that. I just voted for who I want to see in FIFA. Um, I think my vote would be completely different if I was voting for who I think had the best season, but... I just want to vote for some cool cards in FIFA, to be honest. I think that we'll get some uh, some very deserving players. Um, and we'll also get a bench of reserves as well of, of very deserving players. I just wanted to vote for, uh, for for who I wanted to see in the team, basically. That is my team of the season. It's very Prem uh, Bundesliga heavy um, with the odd player here or there, not from the Prem or Bundesliga, mainly because I rock the Prem and the Bundesliga in my teams. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, it should be a pretty fun... Uh, team of the season. I'm very, very excited for Team of the Season. I'm very excited. So Sam Frosty's up first. He says, everyone is first owner. Neymar is the only tradable player. You've got 50,000 coins and you're willing to grind for players and coins. Congrats on the weight loss. Thank you, man. Um, right. Well, first things first. Like, you know you're not making an upgrade to this team. Like, let, let's... I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, get straight into you're, you're not making an upgrade. You already know you're not, right? People that have full first owner teams are not going to go out and buy a single player. They're just not, especially when your team is this good as a full first owner team. Look, we're going to get 81 plus player picks. We're going to get a team of the season guarantee packs. We're going to get some serious packs during team of the season. That's when you upgrade a team like this. Just get rid of Ferland Mendy. You just don't need in there. You just don't. There's no need. There's absolutely no need. There's just no need. Like, get rid of him now. Like, now. Just remove him now. Jordan's team next. Everything is untradeable. Uh, I play the same in game. You're just waiting for Tots to improve your team. I respect that. You got 550k. I uh, love the content. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I like the team as well. I think you've got some nice icon pack look here. You got Best and Cantona. I respect that. Um, I see your uh, your Rui Costa and Van Basten on the bench as well. Not ideal. Um, yeah, this team's decent, bro. This team is, is solid. I don't know about... The, here's the thing, right? I don't like... And controversial. I'm not the biggest fan of Vidal and Kondogbia, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I use Vidal a whole lot. Having five-star skill and Emery Chan as well. Having five-star skills on a midfielder, especially one that's meant to be fairly defensive, for me personally, screws me so much because I do stupid skill moves to try and get out of an area and I lose a ball in the transition and I concede and it's just really stupid. I don't know about you guys, but they're insane players, right? So if you can get around, if you're just not an idiot like me, um, like, they're just great. They're fantastic. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if anyone else is the same out there that keeps getting caught doing stupid skill moves for no reason with their five-star skill for birthday midfielder. This video was brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball is a quality all things football app on iOS and Android. It will give you lineup news, team sheet news, who's injured, you know, who's on the subs, goal notifications. I've actually been using OneFootball for quite a while now as I like to keep up to date with different results in the Premier League, for example, but it's hard to watch all the games at the same time, especially with streaming and making videos. OneFootball is especially good regarding transfer news too. If you ever want to keep up to date with everything transfer news, it's got a tab just for you on your favorite team where you can see rumors, confirmed deals and everything and anything related to transfers with your favorite team. I also use it to track when games are because I am the worst with times and often forget and it will tell me, you know, United are kicking off at seven or Everton are kicking off at half four. It's free. It's easy to use. It's on the App Store on iOS or Android. I highly recommend checking it out. One football link in the description down below. Well, Cal's team next. You've got 200,000 coins. You want to get Shaw and someone better to replace Graven Birch. Uh, keep the amazing work. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, let's have a check out of this team. So you want to... I'm surprised. I, the Everyone I talk to loves this Graven Birch card. Absolutely loves it. Uh, but you've got quite a, a nice little uh, a thing here. You can you can go basically any Dutch player um, and put promise left cam. Now, you have only got 200k. I... Wait, I, I beg that's that... I, I, I just beg that promise... Uh, sorry, that, that Cruyff on the bench is alone. If you've got a Cruyff on the bench with this team and you're not using him, you're off your head. If it's alone, fair enough. Uh, Dutch midfielders, though, in this game. My mind's gone blank. I can't think of a single Dutch midfielder. It is very late when I'm recording this video. I do apologize. Uh, I just had a lot to do today. Um, so it was it had to be a late one. 
Uh, you got Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum's a good shout. Uh, very pound for pound similar to Graven Birch. He's only 210k, and this card is actually cracked. Um, I actually just got a lot of my pay to win account. Very, very liked it. Very, very good card. Very much liked it. Can't speak. I mean, you got Coop Miners, but the two-star week for three-star skills is just not what you want. And you obviously got Frankie De Jong as well. Um, I would go with either of Frankie De Jong or Wijnaldum. Play them, like start them up top, and then start Promise at your lamb. So you've got full chem on... Um, on your boy Neres. Um, then after that, I would probably look to try and upgrade for Fana. Personally, didn't like that card. Um, I think your defense itself is quite... If you're going to use center backs, you need at least 85 pace on them, in my opinion. I Trust me, I use Prime Blanc, and he just gets caught out too much. You want you want good pace on your center backs, or you've got to use left back or right back. It's just how the game is. It's sad, but it's just how the game is. Because through balls, they're, they're unforgivable, man. They're unforgivable. Anthony has a million coins. He's got one mil to improve this team. He's playing a 3-5-2. Very interesting. That's, uh, uh, that is, you know, that is definitely something. Uh, you've got Sane up top with Jao Felix. You've got Cucurella and Lozano as your wingers. Um, you've got Yuri Bochicic, Klossman, and Bender. That's, I mean, it, hey, it's a fantastic team. It's a fantastic team. With a million coins, I would probably only... <laughs> See, all right, you want to know what I would actually do? I would I would do an icon pack, if I'm being completely honest. I'd do an icon pack, and then I'd save the rest for upgrades during TOTS. However... Is that smart? No. But am I smart? No. Like, that's what I would... Play. If you want to really know what I would do, that's genuinely what I would do. I would go and do an icon pack. Because at the end of the day, like, for a million coins, yeah, you could go out and buy maybe a better CDM than Rykar, but he's still good bang for your buck. And there's no point going out and spending the coins because you do need an icon to link everyone together. Um, and, hey, sometimes you've got to live a little. Sometimes you've got to live a little, do an icon pack. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes you have to. You just have to sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's just what you got to do. Um, we've got the foot reviewers team now. Uh, he just left it blank, and this is his team. So I'm guessing it's just uh, more of a flex than anything. It's a good team. You know, you've, it's very meta. It's very, very meta. It, it's like the most players in one team you can fit in that work perfectly to the meta. I'm guessing you play a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1 probably. Um, it's a nice team. You know, that Cancelo card is already actually cracked. I, I've been saying this for a very long time, right? If you guys watch this series a lot, you'll know I've been saying this for a very long time. This Cancelo card is absolutely insane. If he continues to get upgrades, if, if Man City win the Champions League, even just to get to the final, it's going to be the best right back in the game. It already is, in my opinion. He's absolutely nuts. Um, he's slept on. People don't use him a lot because we've got people like Mbappé out. But trust me, he's absolutely nuts. I like him a lot. Uh, that's a nice team, though, bro. Uh, Arnold's team next. He's got all untradeable. 4 and 2 and 2 in our own game. Now we're cooking on gas. Nerez usually comes in for Baggio in the second half. Jekko almost 70 goals in 50 or so games. Okay, I respect that. Man's using Jekko. I actually, I've got a lot of time for that. I do have a lot of time for that. In-game, you're playing Bergwijn and Jekko up top. Badger, Cam, Balak, Kulisevsky, and Vidal. And then you've got Bender, uh, Ferdinand, Kera. Dallo. All right, so you just got to mix a few things around here. So Kara goes on the left of Ferdinand on the right. Kara's got the four-star weak foot, whereas Ferdinand has a three-star weak foot. So if you need to take a pass on the left foot of Ferdinand, you want that on Kara. Plus, Kara's got better passing and better dribbling. So you want him on the left because he can play better on his left foot. Then you want Kulisevsky, in my opinion, on the left and Balak on the right for the crossbody shots um, and also the near post shots. Now, what people don't, I think, know about this game is that near post finesse shots are actually really OP outside the box and people don't use them a lot. People go for that far post finesse shot all the time. In my opinion, play those two switched because crossbody shots and near post finesse shots are a lot more OP than trying to cut in and finesse shot on their strong foot across goal, in my personal opinion. Um, I would then, I mean, I wouldn't, I probably, I'd probably put uh, Bergvine on the right striker and Jack on the left, just because Jekko's got the better finishing stats. Um, and you want, if you want a crossbody shot, you want that on Jekko rather than uh, Bergvine's weak foot. Um, and I'd probably say put Dallow at left back and Bender at right back. Again, more of the same. Dallow's got the four star weak foot. Bender's got the three star weak foot. Again, if you have an opportunity where you need to take a left footed pass, which is quite a lot on the left side of the pitch. You want that to be on Dallow's four-star weak foot as opposed to Bender's three-star weak foot, personally. Um, but all in all, it's a very nice team. Uh, we've got our host's team next. He says he played a 4-3-1-2 with Messi at Cam, uh, Ruby striker uh, with Son. He supports City, so I'll complete Aguera end of an era next week and replace Son for him. Uh, Son's got 980 gains for me. By the way, the tradables are Smalling and Jordi Alba. That Smalling card I played against earlier in Champs, and he was impossible to get round. I struggled so hard. Um, no, this is a very nice team. I mean, you can maybe play Dest off chemistry at left back. Um, although Alba is good enough. So, you know, if you want to go get that Dest card, I respect going and getting Aguero, though. I do respect that. You know, you got to do what you got to do. At the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. 
Uh, this is a good team. This is a very nice team. Uh, it's very well built. I don't have much to say about this team. Um, it's a shame there's no English goalkeeper icon, you know? Otherwise, that would have been perfect. Um, maybe join the team. I mean, what you could do is you could you could go and get uh, Bruno. You could play Curtis Jones off cam, get Bruno Perez um, at... Uh, wait, no, hang on. That This Paolo Lopez card is actually perfect for chemistry. Never mind. Um, I take it all back. All back. I take all of it back. All right, we've got really Sultan's team. You shop on Diego Carlos for Laporte in game. Fair enough. That is, uh, that's fair play, mate. I mean, hey, it's a, it's a solid team. To be honest, 4 2 3 1. I'd probably play Rainier at Cam and Ian Wright up top, though. Uh, I'd play personally Rainier at Central Cam uh, or Son at Central Cam, whoever's got the better passing out of the two. Uh, Ian Wright up top and then Huang Hee Chan on the other side of whichever uh, whichever side is free, basically. The reason why I would do that is because, oh, by the way, get a Cam Salon as soon as you can. You want good passes at Cam, realistically. Otherwise, you're going to find that you can't create good build up uh, successfully and with enough. Um, efficiency i guess um so you want good passes and ian wright is your best finisher by far he will bag way more goals in one-on-one -on -one scenarios than rainier ever will trust me i had over 100 games on that rainier card i talk from experience uh we got omar's team next he said second is uh second in game uh is how sorry second image is how i play in game currently have 150k did two prime micro patch to try my luck got a hero and trezeguet nice big dubs um, I mean, on the bright side, I think your team is absolutely class. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you're playing a 4-4-2. Um, do you know, the only thing, and again, uh, this is, is, is you know, it's, it's nitpick. It's, you know, you don't even have to think twice about it. I would genuinely play Perisic at left centre mid, Vidal at right centre mid, and Kimmich at left mid. And the reason why I would play that is because I actually think Perisic is more suited to a central role than a wide role. From experience of playing him at, you know, as a wide midfielder and then as a central midfielder, he's so good at central centre mid and, and as, as, a, as, a, as a wide centre mid as well. Um, in fact, let me have a look at Kimmich's stats in comparison because I'm pretty sure Kimmich got over 90 pace, right? 85 pace. So we've got... Um, uh, O Omo's team, uh, second image is how I play in game. Currently have 150k. The two prime icon packs. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, there's, the way you've got this setup is actually really good. Uh, Peritage at left mid works. He's got the most pace out of the uh, out of all the midfielder options. So solid uh, how it works. Um, yeah, it's a nice team to be honest. It's a very nice team. I do like it a lot. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, foreign teams team. Uh, four two four in game. Cole and Renato as DMs. Dalbert left back. Ne Neres Lam. Messi Cam. Rui Costa. You know you could have just put a second picture in there. He, he, it would have been a lot easier. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's a good team. You've got that that red ninety pace centre back. All right. I mean this defense is a little bit questionable. I, I can't lie to you. Um, but the rest of the team is pretty decent. I do respect the rest of the team. I don't really have an upgrade for you, to be honest, because uh, it confuses me when I read where people play. Uh, like, you're playing Cole and Renato Sanchez as DMs. Like, why wouldn't you play, I forget his name, but the left centre-back at DM and Cole at centre-back, you know? Like, or like, I, I just, I'm confused. I mean, hey, if it works for you, it works for you, brother. Uh, and the last one for this video is going to be from Talal, who says he replaces Tony with Matthias. Um prime from one of the prime icon packs i'm doing i have 250k and 300 after this week's rewards we move we move wait i replaced tony with matthias prime from the one prime icon pack i'm doing ah so you, you already know what you're getting fair enough i mean i wish i knew how to do that i'd, I'd have r9 and hullet and Vieira and all those guys um, and this is what I, how you play twice, uh, like two different formations you play. I do want to try the three-five-two as a formation to hold out a game. You know, if you've got one goal in the seventy-fifth minute and the guy's pressing you, I think the three-five-two could work really well to just widen the play and kind of go up and down the wings and stuff like that, waste a bit of time. Um, so I'm do I'm definitely going to try that this weekend or next weekend. Sorry, uh, this seems really nice. I would just swap Nerez and Pele personally. Nerez for the crossbody shots. Um, I just think that like people underestimate crossbody on this game. Like, I know finesse shots are super good. But I think crossbody this game is super important. And I think that if you've got a four-star weak foot versus a strong foot, you want that strong foot most of the time, right? Especially if Pele is on that right foot crossing over. Uh, just my personal opinion. But that is it for iRate Teams this weekend. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like down below if you did. Thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring the video. And I'll see you lads later.